what is up guys i have exciting news for you new zealand is experiencing a critical shortage of both skilled and unskilled workers and they've made changes to their new zealand accredited work visa this visa was initially valid for three years but because they are trying to attract a lot of people they have now extended the validity of this visa up to five years and the salary that you're going to earn is between three thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars per month most importantly there is no english requirement and there is no age limit so this is what i'm going to be talking about in today's video I'm also going to share with you the visa benefits, visa cost, processing time, in-demand jobs, visa validity, salaries, requirements, websites to use for you to apply for jobs, and the list of employers willing to hire you from overseas. And guys, if you are new to my channel, my name is Pauline Popomoyo, and this is the channel where we keep things real. And if you are interested in relocating to overseas, do stay tuned to this channel and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe and turn on the notification bell because for the next 30 days i'm going to be sharing with you opportunities overseas and how you can look here to overseas there are so many countries which i'm going to come and share with you and today we are focusing on new zealand so without wasting any of your time let's get into it they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, magic. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Acting stupid. What was happening? Yeah. What was happening? Yeah. I'm a savage. First of all, guys, I'll start by sharing with you jobs which are high in demand in New Zealand so that you see whether your job is included. We've got roles for teachers and educators, masons, electricians, construction helpers, nail technicians, software testers, forklift operators, machine operators, plumbers, welders, butchers, tailors, cyber security, crane operators, delivery drivers, tail fitters, carpenters, furniture assembles, carers, nurses, styling slash saloon workers, software developers, game developers. Guys, the list is endless. So in case you are wondering what an accredited employer work visa is, it is a special purpose visa introduced for applicants with New Zealand job offers with accredited employers. You can check the list of accredited employers online. What this simply means is it's just like in the United Kingdom where a company is licensed to sponsor you from overseas. So accredited employers are employers who have been approved to sponsor candidates from overseas. The beauty of this visa route is that you can work and apply for permanent residence after just two years in New Zealand. So when these employers offer you from overseas, there are other benefits. Some companies offer you free food, free accommodation and free travel tickets, which means they also pay for your flight tickets. And the visa fee is only just 750 New Zealand dollars. Because the New Zealand government wants to make this visa route more attractive, these are the changes which have been implemented or as from the 27th of November 2023, this is what they are going to be doing. They are going to be introducing a maximum continuous stay for everyone who has an AEWV, increasing the length of the accredited employment work visa for people earning at least the median wage from three years to five years and increasing the length of the AEWV for people in the care workforce sector who are paid at least the level three pay rate from two years to three years. So this is exciting news guys because once you're given this visa, 
you can stay continuously in New Zealand for five good years without the need of you renewing a visa or forking out any money to renew the visa. And you can become a permanent resident after just living two years in New Zealand. So now let us talk of the requirements for this visa. For you to be able to get this visa, the number one thing that you need is to get employment with an accredited employer in New Zealand. You also need to have a valid passport. You need to have police clearance certificate, medical test reports, genuine intent to work in New Zealand, and your salary should be at least $29. Dollar sixty six per hour, which is the current median wage. You also need to have travel and accommodation arrangements. You don't need to worry about this because mostly it's arranged by the employer. Then you also have to have a detailed travel itinerary and no travel ban in the past. So it's important that you are very truthful when you're applying for this visa because I know people who've been banned in other countries and they go ahead and apply, for example, in the UK and they get their visas denied. So you don't have to have any travel ban in the past in any country. Or if you had one and it was resolved, you indicate that when you're applying for a visa. So guys, if your job qualifies for the accredited employer visa start applying for jobs today guys do not waste any time and remember when you're applying to these jobs you need to tailor make your cv to suit whatever job that you're applying to and you make sure that your cv is a new zealand cv format in case you are wondering where you're going to get jobs these are the websites that you can use to get jobs the most common website that you can use is sick.co.nz the second one nz.jora.com or trademe.co.nz you can also use linkedin you can use indeed google jobs or glassdoor or you can just comment in the comment section just let me know which role you're looking for and I'll search for those jobs and I'll compile a list then I'll come and share with you. So drop whatever thread you are in in the comment section and I'll search for those jobs. And if I find any, I'll come and share with you. And all you have to do is to get your CV ready, get your papers ready and you apply. One most important thing is that whatever qualifications you have, you have to make sure that you convert them to New Zealand qualifications meaning you have to have your documents verified or compared with a new zealand qualifications the next question that we might have is can your family join you if you are relocating to new zealand and the answer is yes immediate family members for example your spouse and dependent children can accompany you to new zealand on this type of visa your spouse or your partner can actually get a work visa to begin working in new zealand as well so it's a great opportunity guys your children can get a student or a visitor's visa and accompany you to new zealand so guys at the present moment there are over 200,000 vacancies and you can filter accredited employers alphabetically i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that whatever role you're looking for you check in these companies you can go on their website and check in their career page if there are any open vacancies and you apply and the beauty of it is that most of these employers they respond to you within 48 hours and you can get a new zealand visa in less than 60 days they say in 58 days you can get the new zealand visa so guys do not let this wonderful opportunity pass you and if you have any questions do drop them in the comment section and if you have any role that you are looking for drop it in the comment section as well and i will take my time to search for those jobs and i'll come and share so with guys you. share this video with people who are interested in relocating to overseas new zealand is hiring from overseas and if you like content like this do smash that like button and subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss because i'll be uploading 
videos on a daily basis thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in my next video bye